Hi, it's Miss Cara from the Coventry Public Library, and welcome to our first Rhode Island Children's Book Award, Rooster Reads. So each month from September through January, I'm going to show four nominees from the 2021 Rhode Island Children's Book Award list. And then in February, um, children in grades three through five who read at least three of the titles from the list will be able to vote. So this month we're featuring these four books, Awesome Dog 5000, Out of My Shell, Gross as a Snot Otter, and Because of the Rabbit. So we're going to start with Awesome Dog 5000. And this one is by Justin Dean. And this is about a little boy, Marty, and he moves to a new school in a new town. So some friends know how hard that is. And he does find two friends right away. Um, Skylar and Ralph and the three of them really like video games so they connect right away at school and he has them over their house and Marty and his mom have just moved in so they have boxes everywhere and they knock over one of the boxes and out comes awesome dog 5000 so he's a robotic dog so he has super speed so he goes really fast and he barks really loud and when he comes out of the box, he kind of takes off and he crashes and he goes flying and with Marty and they ruin a birthday party. And it's the birthday party of Dr. Crazy Brains. So he's an evil inventor. He makes potions and he is not happy. So he wants revenge on Awesome Dog 5000 and Marty for ruining his birthday party. So if you like silly books, this book's funny. If you are a fan of Dogman or the Bad Guys, you would really like this book. And then if you read it, you get to see how it ends and see how Marty and Ralph and Skylar take on Dr. Crazy Brains. And then if you really enjoy it, there's already a next one out, and that one is Awesome Dog 5000 versus Mayor Bossy Pants. <laughs> so that's the next one. So, and this one has um, lots of pictures in it too. So it has drawings throughout. So that was a very fun read. Um, and the next one we're going to look at is Because of the Rabbit. And this one's a chapter book as well, but this one is realistic fiction. So that means um, the story could have happened. It's realistic, but this one is made up. So it's realistic fiction. And Because of the Rabbit is by Cynthia Lord. And you might know her, she wrote Rules, she wrote Touch of Blue. Um, so this one is a book about a little girl, Emma, and she's been homeschooled for a while. And she's starting fifth grade, so she's going to be going to school. So it's gonna be a big change for her. She was homeschooled, um, she had an older brother, and he's gone to school, so she decides to go to school as well. And the next day she's starting fifth grade, and that night they find a rabbit, her and her dad, um, decide it's a pet rabbit it's not a wild rabbit so they take it in and they don't find the owner so um, Emma has Lappy that's his name she names him that and so she's nervous about starting school and she really wants to find a best friend and they do a school project and she gets partnered with a little boy named Jack and they really like animals they both like animals um, so you'll have to read this one because she has a little surprise at the end with Lappy um, and you'll have to see if she gets to keep the rabbit or not and how her friendship um, um, with Jack turns out and some other friends in her fifth grade, fifth grade class because of the rabbit. So if you like books about friendship and school and animals, you really like this one. It actually has facts about rabbits as well at the beginning of each chapter. There's different facts about rabbits. So because of the rabbit, and then the next one we'll look at this month is Out of My Shell, and this one is also a chapter book that's realistic fiction. So the story could happen, could have taken place, but this one, uh, the author wrote this one. Out of My Shell is by Jenny Gobel, and this one is about um, a girl, Olivia, and she's going to Florida for the summer with her mom and her sister, and they stay with the, um, her grandparents in Florida. 
and Olivia's sad because it's the first summer her dad won't be coming with them. Um, but she is on the beach one day and she sees the sea turtle and the sea turtles are having trouble and um, getting to their nests and finding their nests on the beach and she realizes it's from the inn next door, the light coming from the inn next door from where her grandparents live. Um, so she decides to help the sea turtles. Um, so you'll have to read this one to see if her mission to help the sea turtles on the beach um, works out for Olivia. And this one you'll like, if, again, if you like animals, and um, this is a story about sea turtles and a girl and her different relationships as well with her mom and her sister and her dad. Out of My Shell by Jenny Gobel. And this one, actually, when I was pairing these four books up, um, I didn't even realize how similar I read them, but I've forgotten how similar they were because of the rabbit and Out of My Shell, like I said, family stories, um, friendships, animals, and this one also has um, some information, some facts, uh, each the beginning of each chapter on sea turtles. So, Out of My Shell, and the last one for our four choices, four titles for September is a picture book, and it's Gross as a Snot Otter. So this one is actually a series. The series, is, um, the series is World of Weird Animals series. So you might have read one of these before, but this one is by Jess Keating, and it's illustrations by David DeGrand. Um, so Gross as a Snot Otter, discovering the world's most disgusting animals. So like I said, this one's a picture book, but it's nonfiction. So nonfiction is facts. It has information. And these gross animals are real animals. So it's illustrated. There's an illustrator because there are some pictures um, that he drew. But then it has photographs of the real animal. And that is a snot otter. So you have to read this book to see all the gross animals in this book. And then it also gives facts on the animal in each one. Um, their name, their habitat their diet. Um, so if you like animals and nonfiction and facts and I guess gross books, you'll really like this one. Gross as a Snot Otter from the World of Weird Animals series. So those are our four books for September. Um, so like I said, students in grades um, third, fourth, and fifth grade um, who read at least three of the titles will be able to vote in February of 2021. So each month, so next month in October, I'll show four different titles um, for the 2021 Rhode Island Children's Book Award nominees. And thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions about any of the books, um, you can always come to the Coventry Public Library and we have a display of the titles and ask me any questions. We also have a link to the list on our website. So we'll see you soon from the Coventry Public Library. Bye.